Ah, Tommy. I'm glad you're here. I was afraid I'd miss you. Hey, boss. What's going on? There's something I've been looking forward to all week. I'm going to Pepe's restaurant for lunch, but my personal bodyguard has called in sick. There's nobody here who could take me, and I prefer not to go to these things alone. You'll take me, won't you? Certainly, boss. Bravo. Let's get going, then. I'm already pretty hungry. Have you got a piece on you, Tommy? Yeah, I got one. You think I'll need it? Well, <laughs> probably not. But it's better to be sure. You know how it is. We'll take my card. Was, was he talking about a gun or a condom? Because I'm hoping he's referring to a condom, because I definitely will need it if I get to drive this car. Look at this. Look at this glorious piece of machinery. Jeez, yeah, condom necessary, because I'm probably going to make a mess all over the dashboard. Otherwise, got to contain it. Uh, this is the Lassiter V16 Roadster. Tommy, I'm really looking forward to this. Oh, Pepe is up. a native Sicilian and above all a fantastic chef. Whenever I feel like a specialty from back home, I go to him. Wait till you try his cheeses. Forget about it. Luigi's a great cook, but Pepe is a real master, a maestro. I do love cheese a lot. One of my favorite things. Oh shit. <laughs> I was anticipating him turning and so that's why I went to the left. But obviously he was little, he was more ready than I thought and he pumped the brakes. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of like if you remember Foxmobile Mark 1, the yellow convertible, that big beastly thing. Uh, same, same kind of car, this is just like a different version, this is the Roadster. What? Ah, oh, who gives a shit about trouble? Um, arrest? Don't arrest me. What did I do? I'm just speeding. Uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, just a lot smoother, faster acceleration, like everything. It's just like a pumped up version of Foxmobile Mark 1, which is nice. But, you know, it's Mr. Salieri's car, so we're not gonna make it the... This would be Foxmobile Mark 3 if we were to change. Uh, you can see this car up on the left is kind of like, it's the Thor, you know, Foxmobile Mark 2, although that was a convertible. Which, um, I'm not, I'm not, I don't like it as much. Uh, I, I like hard tops. I never was a convertible guy in games or in real life, typically. Uh, games, I probably like them a little more, but in real life, just messes your hair up and shit. You gotta deal with bugs, you know, weather has to be optimal. All these factors, you know, you know what I'm saying? Plus, uh, insurance. I think uh, it makes your insurance premiums go up a bit. They're not quite as safe. That, if that fucker rolls over, you're gonna land on your head. It's, don't want that. No siree, Bob. Alright. But we're going to lunch with, with Mr. Salieri here. It should be nice. Apparently, uh, Peppy is quite the cook. The chef, I should say. Oh, or the God. maestro. Ooh, la -dee da Goes in one end, comes out the other. You know, shit all smells the same. Well, not. That's not true. Actually, different foods affect your shit substantially. So, get, get your fiber. Lots of minerals and vitamins and good stuff. Does he look stoned to anybody? Is it just me or does he look like he's got some dope in that cigar? He's just like, oh man. Oh. He can't even open the door. He's just looking at it. He's like, oh my god. This ground is so soft. At last, <laughs> I could eat a horse. Don't eat a horse, man. That's that's crazy. Happy. You don't even know how much I'm looking forward to your specialties. Fantastic meal, Peppy. I haven't eaten that well in a long time. Molto grazie, Don. Praise it from a gourmet like you always are making me feel it with joy. Oh, please, I'm no gourmet. If you knew what I ate for dinner yesterday, you definitely wouldn't say that. <laughs> Forget about it. <laughs> Can I get you anything else, Don? I have an excellent Chianti. Really? Let's get it out here then, Peppy. Yeah. At once, sir. How'd you like it, Tommy? It was fantastic, boss. I'll have to bring Sarah here sometime. Ah, yes. You certainly should, Tommy. Just be careful that Sarah doesn't take offense. She cooks worse than Peppy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. 
down, everybody! I knew this was gonna happen. Anytime I go anywhere nice, people get shot. Shit, shit happens. We gotta. What the hell is going on? This is ruining my lunch. Dude, must have nothing better to do. They could have at least let me taste the wine. You're so insensitive, man. Dome is present, Joe. Maybe we'll smoke him out. Why are they all dressed the same? Come on, guys. You don't need to be so coordinated. It makes you look like you know what you're doing. And then that's just gonna make you look bad when I kill you. Oh, I hope I'm okay. That's a grenade. This fire. Ryan started the Working fire. Was real it was boss. always burning. Since the world My was ears turning. Are from that blast. Yes, boss. It looks like we won't get out this way. Try and run around the back of them, while I keep them entertained. Yes, boss. Be careful. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Wow, almost 20 health gone in a matter of seconds. Shit. Uh, I'm gonna save that for later. That health box, cause. We haven't even started the fight yet. Oh, 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 oh. I have 14 bullets left. That means I need to get some more. Okay, he's dead. Reload, 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 reload. Please reload faster. Penis shot. Uh, Mr. Salieri, why do you have one health? Why is he dead? Why is he dead? Okay. Oh, we can skip this. Because he died. We already saw that poop. Okay, Mr. Salieri, hold on, brother. Hold on, I'm going to try and kill these guys as fast as possible because I know you're a weak little old man. Who can't control his bladder anymore. Hey, happens to us all. No need to be ashamed. Just, you know, get some gold bond or something to act as a deodorizer. Ow. Oh, oh you're right there. And you're right there. That was really crazy. I'm almost dead. Fuck you. I think I caught a glimpse. Did I see some health back here? I would very much like to get a... Oh, yes, I did. Okay, that's better than nothing. Oh, shit. That's who was probably shooting me before. What a, what a scoundrel. Hey, everybody, I'm over here. How is Mr. Salieri at 100 health still? Whereas last time, motherfucker died in about eight seconds. Jeez. Talk about your inconsistent shooters. Reload. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, I think I actually did it. Wonderful. Second charm times the lucky charm. I have to say, you got balls, Tommy. <laughs> yes, I do. You saved my ass. I'll put him you in your so ass. Bad yourself, boss. Actually, Christ, he was that bad. Was crazy. Thank God, Pepe hid. Poor guy. I'll have to send him some dough for repairs. I would actually send him money. Dough is not good boss, for repairing buildings. I'd like to know how they knew where we were. You think they followed us? I don't think so, Tommy. I have a feeling I know who set me up. What? Ooh. Carlo, my bodyguard. That motherfucker. That goddamn son of a bitch. He's the only one who knew where I was going. And he also excused himself from work today. He knew very well what was going to happen. That sounds pretty likely. Yeah, I think so. I'll tear him apart like a ragdoll. Carlo lives in a rented house in Little Italy, a little way from our bar. There's a pizzeria downstairs. Uh -oh. We're going. Can we get pizza? Is that where we're going to get more pizza? Because I didn't get to finish my meal. Also, why is Carlo the world's dumbest person? Fucker should have gone with and, you know, gone to the bathroom or some shit when he saw the guys coming. So that way, if Mr. Salieri did survive, it wouldn't look so suspicious of him. It'd be like, well, I was with you. Why would I set you up and, like, come, you know? So... That's... Oh. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the uh, I'm gonna keep the Tommy gun. Yeah, get it? Nope, you're not driving. I'm driving. Hurry up. He's got he's, he's got some legs, a good set of legs for an old man like that. He can really get up and move. I, on the other hand, am feeling a little little down and out. Uh, little Italy, that's a central island. Uh, which way do I want to go? Is that the central island or is that the far island? It's hard to tell. Uh, shit, I guess I should take not that. No, what? get out of the way, buddy. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Whoa, okay, here we go. I want to get on that bridge. That's the bridge. What's the name of that bridge? Is that the, oh wait, that's not the bridge. This is the, uh, that's the bridge. The Ju this, is this the Giuliano Bridge? I always get the bridge names mixed up. But I know this is, Lucas is right around here. Actually, he's right up here. He's right, that's his garage right there. You guys remember that. See, I'm getting used to this city. I know where I'm going. This shop on the corner, that's where I lost my virginity. Oh, shit! Oh! You trying to kill me? No, I'm not. I'm trying to not kill you. That's why I'm helping you. Oh, you old buffoon. I'm under a lot of stress, man. Gotta babysit you. Freaking, oh shit, that was just like, uh, I was just scratching my head and my finger kind of had a spasm or something. I don't know. Not intentional by any means. Oh, this is a fun episode. Ah, uh, and I should say mission actually. Hopefully it's a fun episode for you guys, but this is a, uh, I like this, this mission. Get to spend some quality time with my boy. Oh, we do have to go to the uh, the Far Island. Typical. Playing, we're just a big yo-yo. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, I'm running this red light. You ain't gonna stop me. Was that graffiti on that wall? Oh, fuck. Holy sh shit. <laughs> I thought I knew how to drive, too. Oh, this car is fun, but sometimes you go too fast, and then you... Gotta kiss your ass goodbye. Oh boy, I feel like I. Uh, you probably think I'm drunk in real life, which isn't true. Although I did put a drink in the freezer, and I gotta remember to get it because it's in a glass bottle. And you know what happens when you put stuff in glass bottles in the freezer. Nothing. Nothing happens. No, I'm just joking. Okay. Taking the shortcut. Yeah, I love the shortcut. Watch out, boxes, you're fucked. Ah! I think we're driving on, man. Yep. <laughs> uh, almost there. Oh, this is pretty close to home. Gosh darn it. If I were this guy, I would have fled the city. Just completely. You know? He's being a big dumb dumb. Oh, no. You know what, cops? I ain't putting up with this shit. Not today. Did you just shoot out my fucking tire? Well, it's not even my tire. It's Mr. Salieri's. I think you did. Yes. Yes, they did. Biggest mistake ever. It's okay. We're close. We're close to home. Get in, poophead. You might be my boss, but I'm in control of the situation, and you will do as I say. Oh, that's a flat tire. Blah, blah, blah. I love the sound of the flat tires, though. It's very authentic. They, the, the studio developers are probably like, well, we gotta make the sound for a flat tire. So some guy just goes out and he shoots a tire, and then he, another guy gets in the car and they start driving it and recording it. It's pretty much how I imagine it went. Hey, we brought we brought you some pizza, dude. You want to you want to eat it? This, this is pretty pretty decent uh, apartment. I would live here. I think it's a little dirty. They could clean it up, but Carlo, yo, otherwise, no, nothing really wrong with it. Let's do it Tom. It's got it's Bring got um, character. Gosh, shut up. Oh, I see him. He's going down. I'm going. I'm going. Why don't you get him, you jerk? Oh, oh. He's 
He's wearing flower underwear. Shut up, lady, or you're next. What? Who's is there somebody else out here? Kill that bastard, Tom! <laughs> what? Who? Don't be an idiot! Shoot the bastard! Who the fuck is near me? Don't waste your time with him. He's shit. Okay, why did you guys bring baseball bats? Oh, Don't he's got a gun. With us? What did I do to make you want to do this? I shot, I shot him in the face. How did I do, boss? I shot him in the face. You know what, boss? What? That's the first time I knocked someone off in their underpants. <laughs> First time for me too. Flower underpants. First time for everything. Does that mean we're gonna have sex? Because that's what I would like well, my next first time How to be. Are you, Sergio? Staying out of trouble? I see you got a new punching bag. Well, the gentleman here thinks that the financing of our labor union ain't fair, and he wants to strike. I've always said a strike is a bad thing, real bad. Unless, of course, it's organized by my dear brother for a higher goal. You won't get away with this. The boys will show you. I think you're overestimating their bravery. You cockroach. I didn't come for this discussion, <laughs> unfortunately. We'd like to introduce you to some of our principles about labor unions <laughs> in this free country. That of guy ours. has smooth Carry arms. On, boys. Look how smooth his arms are. God damn it, he must moisturize. What's the reason for your coming, brother? Salieri is alive. What? How could he survive? I'm afraid in the current situation Bastard. we can't ask him. And there is nobody else who could tell us what happened. Our guys are dead, and the customers at the restaurant are dead. And that sneak Carlo is as well. Could yep. you please shut up? Oh. We're trying to talk here! Is that There's hell? no way to talk to Mr. Morello. Bum! <laughs> God, he should have been there alone. How could that old man kill so many of our guys? He's as old as me, so I wouldn't say that. But he probably wasn't there alone. I think he'll be planning how to get rid of us right now. What should we do? I will try to figure out something. Anyway, be careful. Now his best guys will be after us. So, we're really at war? We have been for a long time already. But now, more than ever before, Take good care of yourself, brother. Boss, it looks like he's had enough. What do you want us to do with him? I don't know. Finish him off and dump him in the ocean. Oh, dude is so dead. Um, all right, we got the Lassiter V6 Roadster Green. Oh, that's nice. So, well, that yeah, that's nice. Anyways, that's going to do it for episode 11. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we're going to be moving on to episode 12 next, obviously. So, until we meet again. It's been a pleasure. Foxman signing out. Peace out.